Welcome back to the OBS Super User Guidebook online course. In this video, we're going over the brand new background removal plugin for OBS. It'll remove your background without the need for a green screen. And then we'll look at how to use this feature with some cool virtual sets. Plus stick around for our next video where we're going to show how you can make your own virtual sets, spice up your online meetings and live streams. Let's get to it. Real quick before we get started, just want to remind everybody you can download the OBS Super User Guidebook in the links below. And this book is available on Amazon if you'd like to get a paperback copy. It's, I worked really hard on this. By the way, only 10% of our viewers on YouTube are subscribed. So if you hit that red subscribe button, it means a lot to us. And if we're doing something wrong, let us know in the comments below. You know, if you have a question about the content, let me know and I'd be happy to reply. All right, well, let's get started by adding our webcam to OBS. We'll go ahead and pull on our webcam. I usually set it to 1280 by 720, which is a widescreen format, so it fits perfectly into OBS. And I'll just drag it out here. Maybe you'll pull your webcam in in 1920 by 1080, depending on the camera you have. And I'm going to apply the background removal filter. Now, if you haven't already installed this plugin, it's the same as all the others. You download it, copy and paste it, apply the filter, and boom, we have the background removed. In my experience, it's generally been just that easy. You apply the filter, it's called background removal, and then your main you know, configuration is the threshold. And you can kind of move things around a little bit. You can smooth things out, take a look at the different options to get it right. And then you can choose a background color. And the reason why you want to do that is because what it's doing, it's removing your background, placing it with a color, and then we're still going to use the chroma key option to remove the background color. You can copy and paste the actual color that you have chosen in your background removal just to make sure 100% that you're using the correct color in your chroma key. And as you can see, we can play around with the levers here to get rid of our background. Now our background is transparent. The background's been removed. It looks like there's a black background here, but that's just because we've got nothing else in there. And depending on your lighting and the quality of your webcam, you might need to play around with these settings a little bit to get it just right. You have essentially removed your background without the need for a green screen. It's really that easy. Just to show you how this will work with a virtual set, which we're going to talk about in our next video, I want to go ahead and build one with you. Now, virtual sets are essentially a background and a foreground with your video in the middle. Essentially, virtual sets can actually get really advanced, but in general, for what we're going to do in OBS, we're going to have a background layer, then we're going to have a foreground element, which is generally transparent. And in this case, we're going to pull in a PNG file, and I'll give you a link to all of these files so you can use them. I'll go ahead and lock my background so it doesn't move out of place, and I'll click and drag my podium here. This is a PNG file, so it looks really natural once it's placed in there. And then I'll go ahead and add my webcam in the middle. Here's my webcam input. I'll squeeze myself down so I fit into this virtual set space. And then I'll change the layering so that the foreground is in front of my webcam. And I'm in the middle between the foreground and the background. Now, what you can do to make this even more fun is you can duplicate your virtual set once you've created one. And then we can start playing around with moving transitions. So on the second duplicated one, I'm going to go ahead and start moving all of the things, all of the elements and making them larger. And once I've done that, I can actually zoom in between these two virtual sets using the move transition. And the move transition you'll see will actually have this kind of realistic looking zoom effect. And we'll play a lot more with this in our next video where we're actually going to create virtual sets together. But let me add one more. And I actually have this huge pack of virtual sets that I'll share with you guys in the links below. There's some for sales and marketing. There's some for houses of worship. There are some for education. There's a, there's a huge list. So we'll, we'll go over them and you'll get all the, the downloads in the online course so you can play around with that. This lock button 
is obviously uh, really useful when you're doing lots of layering inside of OBS. And what we're going to do is we're going to create that foreground element in front. And then again, add our webcam to be sandwiched in the middle of a foreground and background. This is a really nice, I'll call it a lobby of an office, if you will. And again, we'll bring our webcam in between, kind of size it up so it looks realistic there and put it in between using the layering system inside of OBS. Boom, we could go ahead and duplicate it, create a second version where we're going to go ahead, make it all larger. You can slide that th the cameras in and out. Zooming looks really good, but in our next video, we'll look at some other effects where we can zoom in left and right, and we'll look at all of the virtual sets that you guys can build yourself, or you can, um, Use the ones that we have too that are available in the online course. So again, we'll just do another, a quick, easy zoom effect since we have that move transition selected in OBS that looks pretty realistic here. Make things a little bit bigger. That's a little too big. Let's get it a little smaller here. There we go. And now when we zoom in, you can see that it looks really realistic. So really cool stuff. And that is how you can use an example of using the background removal very excited to show you some more virtual sets in OBS. That's it, guys. What do you think? Let me know in the comments below. All right. Well, as you can tell, I'm pretty excited about virtual sets. So I'm going to show you guys how to build your own virtual sets, plus give you all the files that you need to start with some of the virtual sets that I've created in the links below. And in our next video, we'll go over everything you need to learn about how to create those awesome virtual sets. All right. See you in the next video.